there YouTube welcome back to my channel paranormal biker today's conversational topic is going to be something I'm adding into this tank right here let's get started all right so I probably don't have to say what it is y'all guys could, could guess it but if you can't guess it for that my friends is the one and only pick this catfish Average size, six inches, peaceful, and they eat just about everything. But I think they love blood worms the best. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, he's going to make a he, she, whatever, going to make a beautiful addition to my aquarium. Yep, and I did. I picked it up from Petco. So let's not look at it as a uh, purchase, more of a rescue. And because of the lead up to purchasing this guy, I will never ever step another foot into Petco ever again. And I'll tell you why. all right guys well you seen he's happy i just released him uh i had him in my aquarium for mm, about 25 minutes you know i normally let those guys acclimate between 15 and 30 minutes you know depending on how long the travel is to and from um i've always wanted to pick this catfish Sorry about that. I've always wanted to pick this catfish. Uh, just this specific reason, the moon's aligned properly and I was able to get one and he was a big one. You know, he's probably, uh, I don't know, probably about four and a half inches long. And I think they max out at six inches. I could be wrong, so don't jump on me, but I think it's six inches. Um, so this is going to be quite an experience. Right. Yeah, so Petco. I've been buying some guppies, and uh, the closest pet store to my house actually is Petco, and that's about a 15-minute drive, if traffic's right, um, 20 minutes, traffic's heavy. But I've been trying to get guppies to breed in my 20-gallon. So, I have bought several pairs uh, female guppies from Petco because of location. I'm way out here in the country and pet stores, fish stores do not believe in setting up shop way out in the country. So I have to uh, drive in town to get what I want. Trust me friends, <laughs> when I tell y'all, I'm 100% advocating purchasing of the live aquatic species from not just your neighborhood pet store that's not big box but family owned i love family owned stores we believe that you can get some of the best knowledgeable information from those types of stores because typically you're talking to the owners and the owners have so much invested so much love invested and they want repeat customers so they are going to give you the right kind of knowledge so you keep coming back to them so what led up to this? Okay, so every gu those guppies, those are cobra guppies, uh, you know that I just showed y'all in that twenty. Um, they're the only ones that made it out of like eight. Uh, they're the only ones that didn't that develop this white stuff on them after twelve hours of hitting my water. I don't know if it's a variance between whatever the water temperatures they were operating versus me. It's nothing wrong with my water. You know, I have a pretty diverse uh, community of uh, species in that tank. So I'm going to say it's not me. I'm going to take that pride and just say it's not me. Okay. I took them back. Not a problem. They gave me a swap. Took them back again. Not a problem. They gave me a swap. This time around when I took them back, 
Uh, it's a guy that I never seen before at Petco on a Southwest Military Drive. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he seen me with my receipt and my plastic bag full of my dead fishies, and he walks right past me. Didn't, hey man, what's going on? You know, can I help you? Nah. He was like, F you, and kept going. So I meandered around, you know, I'm a tank junkie. I like looking at all the tanks, seeing what's going on. Um, I seen that they had depicted this catfish, and uh, yeah, I could tell that they just put them in the tank because they don't ever have Pictus, cat, Pictus catfish. You know what, Pictus catfish are as hard to find as the ghost glass catfish in the greater, greater San Antonio area. I drove, not to get off subject, I'm sorry, but I literally drove about 45, no, almost 50 minutes away to go get me some glass catfish because I love the ghost glass catfish. They're the ones that, uh, you know, they, like the substrate, but they like kind of in the middle area of the tank too. Um, you know, you have two types, right? So you have the ones that just stay on sub and you have the ones that are on sub and they go up. But anyway, yeah. So I just had jump on it. I was like, well, I'm not getting no more guppies from this place. Uh, let's try the, the, the Pictus. Maybe I'll get lucky like I got lucky on those Cobras. Yeah. So I had to go run him down. Didn't want to make eye contact with me. He's doing something in the sink playing with rubber bands and he uh excuse me <laughs> he uh he was like so what can i help you with i was like well i got this receipt and i got these dead fish i'd like to do a swap uh i don't see any water on you well i didn't bring water well you know we 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 have to have a, a, a water sample of your water to make sure you didn't kill your fish okay i understand but i didn't bring it I'm uh, X, amount of, X amount of miles or X amount of minutes down the road. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not going to bring it if I didn't bring it the last few times, sir. So uh, can we just work out a deal? And the dude straight up went, this, sir, is my area. I run this area. And in my area, I have strict rules. And those strict rules are no water sample, no return. So... I got a little snappy with him, I'm not gonna lie. You know, the guy looked like he was 15, but he was acting like he was 50. And make a long story short, the dude ended up honoring, you know, because I even pointed out the guy that helped me last time that didn't ask for the water sample, which I told, you know, the supervisor, please don't go jump that dude's butt. You know, obviously y'all have to have a water sample. I'm not knocking on it. You know, if I had a pet store and people bringing in fish, I'd probably want water samples too. So, yeah. I got to pick this catfish and Petco, sorry, you know, if you're <laughs> watching this Petco, uh, you might want to check in to the, uh, the little short dude, 15 year old looking guy that operates your fish department at the Southwest military store, Brooks city base. Yeah. I won't go talk to him because you just lost the customer here. I will take my butt 30 minutes down the road to go buy from mom and pop that I know I will never receive that kind of treatment. All honesty guys. Uh, <laughs> Out of all of my tanks, I have probably 45 fish and maybe four came from Big Box. The rest, guys, I do buy from Mom and Pop. Um, yeah. If y'all have picked this catfish, please, down here, populate it, you know, leave some comments. Um, I'm learning just like everybody else had to, you know, when they first got fish that they knew nothing about besides what they Googled and read. So, yeah, I'm just, he's going to go on the same diet as the rest of my tank. You know, he'll either nibble down on some pellets for the quarry cats. Uh, he'll suck up some blood worms, which I know that they like blood worms. Um, flake food, you know, whatever, little algae flakes. Uh, we'll just see, you know, catfish can't be that complicated. A lot of your catfish anyways are bottom feeders, right? So, anyway, guys. Please subscribe. Whether you like this, you don't like this, please subscribe. Help my cause, help my channel, be a part of the family. And don't forget to turn on that notification icon. I hope everybody was able to learn something here. Don't go to big box stores. But yeah, I'll never do that again. Guys, if there is anything that I'm missing, please reach out. 
If y'all have uh, any solutions to other videos that are in my video stream, please reach out. And I want to thank y'all one last time. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, 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 and turn on that notification icon. Until next time, my friends, stay fished. Take care.